Hello, ghost hunters. Are you hearing things? You will be. We know the Progression 2.0 update is coming very soon. Before that update comes, here's another sneak peek at what we can expect in the update. Before we get into hearing things, let's talk about ID cards. First, the platform you are playing on will show here. Remember, the update for consoles will be coming very soon after the Progression 2.0 update, so we'll be seeing players from Xbox and PlayStation in our lobbies. Before your level, you will see this Roman numeral, which is your prestige. No idea if there is a limit to how much or how often you can prestige, but this unique number here will indicate your level of prestige. As you can see here, this player is ready to prestige again, which will reset his money, experience, and level, but increase his level of prestige. Also, your experience bar here will now be colored to match your ID card. You'll also have two slots for badges, which, if you ask me, have always existed, but haven't been utilized before. There's also a new edit button, which is definitely more clear than knowing to simply click the middle of the badge slot, but clicking this button will give you a screen that looks something like this. There are three options here, the first being the prestige badges. Notice some of these are blurred out, which is to keep them a surprise until after the update is released. You can choose any of your earned prestige badges or none at all. The second option is for special badges, which include any earned badges or special badges you may have. For content creators like me, this includes my creator badge, but it could include any badges you may have earned from special in-game events such as the Easter event. You can also decide not to display a special badge. And the last option is your card theme. You may have many card themes that you've earned from in-game events, but only two will show in this spot. These two will be based off the badges that you have chosen to display. In the provided example, it is providing only the card themes for the Prestige 1 badge and for the Special Artist badge. In other words, the badges you choose to display will affect the available card themes for you to choose from. All right, let's talk about hearing things, or in other words, the parabolic microphone. You probably know that I've been very critical of this item in the past. For the most part, in early days of Phasmophobia, this tool was mostly useless, but it certainly has found its place in the game with updates to how it works to provide players with a tool that is actually quite helpful. Not only does this item assist players in narrowing down where the ghost might be in larger locations, it also can provide unique evidence of a banshee. So how will this item be different in the coming update? For Tier 1, you'll have a parabolic microphone that looks something like this. Developers describe it as small and affordable. Turning it on will equip the player with a set of headphones, which will muffle the world around them. When this parabolic mic picks up a sound with its long range, it will be played through the headphones, allowing the player to hear it clearly. If you ask me, this sounds very useful and is a tool that I could see a lot of players making use of. For Tier 2, we will have the current para mic, but it is described as improved. It also says that it has a longer range than the Tier 1, and that the display will show the combined volume reading for each sound. It sounds a lot like our current parabolic mic, but we will only be able to sort this out when the update comes. For Tier 3, we will have this paramic, which is able to visually show where the sound is coming from on its sonar-style display. This display will also show each individual spot with its volume. That is it for this sneak peek, but I will say that developers ended this with a promise of more teasers soon, which means we likely won't be seeing the update next week, but instead another sneak peek. Let me know what you think about the parabolic microphone changes and the new ID cards. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and until next time, happy hunting.